I have heard many times the saying, those who fail to prepare are prepared to fail. You see, life is a series of preparations. We prepare our taxes, we prepare for a test, and we even prepare our lunch. But in the larger scheme of things, many times we don't prepare for what would seem like the obvious, and that is fulfilling our purpose or calling. If we take the definition of preparation as the action or process of making something ready for use or service or of getting ready for some occasion, if we take that definition, we might conclude that many times we don't take the action to prepare for life here on earth or even for life after our natural death. You see, preparing for life and the life hereafter is a matter of identifying why we have been given the gift of life by our Creator in the first place. All of us have been given a purpose, and all of us have been given gifts and abilities to complete that purpose. By acknowledging and identifying our calling, we can prepare, that is, take actions to make our lives meaningful. Living life to the fullest can only take place as we prepare and give ourselves to the task of living out our God-given destinies. You see, God created us for Himself and has assigned each of us a productive and fulfilling part of His divine plan. When we give ourselves to that plan, we are not only prepared for life here on earth, but also for life evermore. You see, it's all about preparation. Are you prepared, my friend? You can be today by seeking out the will of God for your life and allowing Jesus Christ to be the Lord over all that awaits you in your future. You have been listening to A Day Starter for Kingdom Living, presented by the Congregation of Kingdom Culture, located in the Snoopers Paradise Antique Mall in Groves.